General Hospital's Willow has finally gone under the knife for her bone marrow transplant, but will she escape the grim reaper's scythe? Port Charles's beloved weepy waif has been kept hanging on like the supreme song, with the lightest possible case of stage 4 leukemia, after months of delaying treatment and even getting married to Michael in a touching all-hands-on-deck family wedding. But now she finally has Auntie Liesel's healthy bone marrow spreading fresh cells through her system. Can she and we breathe a sigh of relief through the transplant itself? Isn't that different than a blood transfusion, assured sudden cancer specialist TJ. So all you need to do is sit back and relax. Relax? TJ, this isn't like hanging out in your sweats at the gatehouse. If it's really that easy, why wasn't it done months ago? When she had, like, two weeks to live, we take soap operas with massive grains of salt and enough suspension of disbelief to hold up several bridges, but Willow's cancer arc has strained even our elastic credulity, especially given her grandmother-in-law Monica's 1995 breast cancer arc, which viewers still laud today as a heartfelt and realistic portrayal of the disease. Putting Willow behind glass, having emotional phone conversations with Michael and Sasha, and her adorable Moppets Wiley and Amelia, tugs at the heartstrings while also feeling really late in the game. Not since Jenny in 1970's Love Story has a disease been this drawn out for maximum impact, and is it really going to end with her life-saving surgery? After all, transplants don't always take and she can languish in the hospital forever if need be. Many viewers having been rooting for Willow to just die already, but given her placement as General Hospital's central ingenue and Michael's wife, that's highly unlikely. What's probably going to happen is what's happened with her story all along, a recovery wrapped up in neat little bows, ignoring the true impact of cancer on patient and family, while everyone gushes about how brave she's been. Whose suffering will end first? Ours or hers? We'll find out soon enough. Watch out, Sprina, the dream team of General Hospital's Nicholas Alexander Chavez and Tabiana Ali has an onset meddler in their midst. One making his fond feelings for Ali quite clear, he gives her the eyes and everything, Chavez tells Soap Opera Digest of his audacious work rival, explaining that this co-worker will just flirt with Tabiana in front of me, as if I'm not even there, LA admits she's weak to her co-star's intense charm offensive too. I thought I was strong, but he has really put me to a challenge. Wow. Move over Don Juan, who's the castmate wooing her so hard. If you guessed that it's actually two castmates, you'd be absolutely right. Twinfants Jay and Joey Clay, who play Baby Ace, have quickly won the hearts of everyone who has scenes with them. While effortlessly stealing those scenes, champion multitaskers, and they're not even a year old. No one is focusing on anything I'm saying, they're just looking at the cute baby. Chavez teasingly huffs of Spencer's interactions with Wee and Winsome Ace. He can't help it, defends Ali. He's just so adorable. And we have to agree, while viewers are understandably wary of Spencer turning into a devoted daddy figure for his little bro when he and Trina are finally starting to heat up. Ali doesn't mind baby Ace's presence in their characters' lives. I wish I could work more with him, she says to Digest. If only more adorable Ace didn't come with more mama-ism, right, Sprina Nation? GH Spoilers Weekly Update for May 15-19, 2023 Tease that the week ahead is full of a surprise and congratulations. Tune in next week so you can catch all of the action in Port Charles. This week was a big one in Port Charles. Spencer Nicholas Alexander Chavez reunited with Trina Tabiana Ali against all odds, and she was thrilled. Near death, Willow Catlin McMullen finally got her cancer treated. Trina also reunited with her parents as Curtis Donald Turner looked on at the happy family scene. Asm Avery Kristen Pohl ended up reuniting with baby Ace. Coming up sunny, Morris Bernard is taken by surprise, but what ends up causing the feeling? Later, you'll see Jordan, Hanisha Harper, offers congratulations. Before the end of the week, Scott, Ken Schreiner, meets with Cody, Josh Kelly. Be sure to check out the daily breakdown below for all the big things coming up next week in Port Charles. Sunny is taken by surprise. Dex as news leaves Jocelyn shaken. Gladys takes a loss. Scott pitches a new plan. 
Brooklyn reports for due to Nina arrives at Carly's. Robert seeks romantic advice. Deanne puts her cards on the table. Sasha faces her fear. Cody rides to the rescue. Robert does some digging. Dante reaches out to Mac. Portia seeks out Ava. Alexis makes an offer. Asim ponders her options. Jordan offers congratulations. Alexis gets an invitation. Sam is thrown. Molly is troubled. Holly makes a big decision. Taggart advises Portia. Michael updates Dante. Jocelyn has a request for Sunny. Sasha supports Nina. Scott meets with Cody. General Hospital spoilers reveal shocking discoveries, pleas for help, heartfelt confessions, and so much more. You won't want to miss a moment of this intense episode. Joss, Eden McCoy, and Dex, Evan Hofer, should have known their little clandestine meetings are like playing with fire. They were bound to get caught soon and both Michael, Chad Duell, and Joss look like they are in for some shockers. Joss and Dex are on the couch with little to no clothes on when Michael comes knocking at the door. This is a stunner for Jocelyn because she can't imagine why Michael would want to see Dex. How do they know one another and why does Michael seem so familiar with Sonny's? Morris Bernard, right-hand man? As for Michael, it might become clear to him why his sister broke up with Cameron, William Lipton, and was so concerned about Dex when Sonny had him hanging by a meat hook. Lucy, Lynn Herring, was not about to let the nurse's ball go on without her as that would be blasphemy, so it's a good thing she is both an escape artist and a quick change artist. However, she is also presumed to be dead, and nobody has seen or heard from her in months. That is until she makes urgent contact with Maxie, Kirsten Storms. Needless to say, Maxie was taken aback when Lucy was right there in her office wanting to talk. Things went from bad to worse when Anna, Fanola Hughes, arrived, ready to cart Lucy off. Maxie isn't sure what to think, Lucy doesn't want to leave, and Anna's ready to pull her out by her hair to keep from getting them all killed. Also, in the mix now are Carly, Laura Wright, and Drew, Cameron Matheson, who know that Valentine, James Patrick Stewart, is alive. They want to know everything about the plan to take down Victor, Charles Shaughnessy. Drew still has a score to settle with the man who stole a couple years of his life. He wants in on whatever the plan is and presses Valentine for the details. Chase, Josh Spickard, and Brooklyn, Amanda Seton, are forever acting like teenagers as they dance around their feelings for one another. They spent much of 2022 this way and the first few months of 2023 have been more of the same. However, this time they have some friends who are also finding their behavior to be ridiculous. GA spoilers say that Chase takes some of Willow's, Ketlin McMullen, advice after she asks him if being right is really worth being without her. Does that mean he tells BLK how he feels despite hearing her say she was enjoying being single?